Hi there, Ashley from Namisma here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how the Namisma and GoCardless integration works. So, there's a few steps to this, but I'll show you every single one of them and the functionality that we have within Namisma as well. The first step to get this set up is to go to the settings in your bookkeeping profile. Once you're in settings, you can then go to payment. Within payment, you have the option for go cardless. If you select this to make it active, and then you'll need to get your secret key. To get your secret key, you'll need to go to go cardless. And when you when you first log into go cardless, you'll be on your home page. You'll need to go to developers on the left menu, which is at the bottom. Once you're in developers, you can go to create in the top right hand corner and select access token. And then you can call this the MISMA. And the option you'll need to select is read write access. And upon selecting, select create access token. And you can then copy this and paste it into Nomisma. Once you've done that, click save. That will then save. I'm not going to do that because I'm on a sandbox account and I've, I've got a different setup, but you would need to click save. Now, once that's done, you can then go to your templates and this is optional, only if you want this, but we've actually developed GoCardless and Namisma in a way so that you can take one-off ad hoc payments from your clients directly from emails. They can just click a link and it will take them to the, the payment page. Or if they're not a customer and they're not mapped to a mandate, then it will ask them to set up a mandate. And to do that, you would just need to e edit the existing email. So you can go to invoice link email template, select edit, or you may have the option for plus, but you'll just need to add this to the bottom of the email, pay go cardless. You can put that anywhere in the email you like, but what that will essentially do is create a, a unique link in this email so that when the user clicks it, it will take the value of the invoice that you're sending them and it will send it to go cardless. Okay, so I'm gonna save that and then that, that email is specifically for invoice link emails. So if I go to sales and select an invoice from my sales list, so on the three dots, and then select invoice link. Now, this then gives me the option of paying by GoCardless. So if I right click that and open it in a new a tab, your client would be able to just click on it in an email. But this is how I would do it so that I can show you exactly how it works. So I open link in new tab. And then I haven't got a mandate in place at the moment. So it's just prompting me to enter some details about my customer. So I'll just put in Reese Munch. And then I can enter a sort code. I've got a dummy sort code here. So let's try this. And then postcode, let's just put in any postcode. Email, uh, I'll use my own. And then set up direct debit. Great, so I've done that, all of the details are correct. I can then click confirm. That mandate has now been successful and the payment for the invoice was also successful because it set up a mandate, but it also processed a payment. Okay, so now that that's done, the payment was for the £500 invoice. And if I go to go cardless now, close this and go to customers, you'll see I've got Reese set up as a customer, which was created at, on the 17th of January, which is great. And there's a pending payment for £500. So that has successfully gone through. Now, if I go back, and then select this again and go invoice link for Homer this time, and then pay by go cardless. This time it's asking me to set up a mandate for Homer because he, he hasn't got one at the moment. But if I was to close that, and something else that we've developed is a mapping tool so that you can map all of your customers to mandates on go cardless. So to get to this, you'll need to go to the new and then select customer list. When you're in customer list, you have a list of all of your customers and you can select this edit button. And you can notice here, I've got GoCardless mandate and it's set up as yes against 
munch. Now, the reason why it's munch is because it's looking at the last name. However, if I was to edit this and just put in here the company name, update, and then refresh. So now, now it pulls through the company name. So that will be easier for you to reconcile the customers in the MISMA to the customers in GoCardless. Now, if I wanted to remove that, I could select no, and then I wouldn't be able to take payments from them anymore. However, if you already have some mandates for your customers on GoCardless and you're just setting up Namisma now, you can map all of your customers that already have mandates to customers in Namisma, so you, they won't have to set up new mandates. And to do that, you can just go to one of your existing customers, let's say Homer, edit, and then we can select yes for GoCardless mandate, and we can map it to any of our customers on GoCardless. So let's just say we map it to Reese, and then save. So now we've mapped that, we can go back to sales, we can select Homer, and go to invoice link. And then we can select pay by GoCardless and see what happens this time. So instead of taking us to the mandate page, it's just taking us directly to the payment for our invoice was successful which is exactly what we wanted. Now, if we go back to GoCardless and select customers, go into Reese, now we've got that additional payment here for 100 pounds. So we have successfully linked GoCardless to Numisma so that you can take ad hoc payments for your clients. Normally, uh, sorry, for your customers. Normally it would just be direct debit mandates, but we decided to do this because it's extremely beneficial just to take these one-off ad hoc payments and not have to use another payment provider. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions at all or any suggestions, please do get in touch with us on 020 3021 2326 or our email address which is support at namisma.co.uk thank you very much for watching and take care bye